I understand people liking Trump more than Hillary. That's fine. What I don't understand is how you can avidly support him after the terrible job that he's been doing. And, you know, the people that have given thumbs down to these two videos here, I, I, I have to kind of question your intelligence. I mean, or maybe you're just too chicken shit to actually have a discussion about this shit. Um, to me, if you disagree with those videos, why not have a conversation? Um, I mean, go ahead and tell me all the good things that Trump has done. The only thing I can think of is getting rid of TPP. Everything else has been you know, either unsuccessful or it's been garbage. Um, he's, he's torn this country apart. We are more divided now than ever. And yet what Trump campaigned on was, you know, that we need to come together. It's just like, well, no, that's not going to happen when your policies are what they are. Um, you know, screw, fuck everyone but rich white guys, right? And I guess that's okay because you've been duped or something. I, 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 and some of you voted for Trump because he was supposed to be some sort of anti-war candidate and now he's showing himself to be more of a warmonger than anyone we've had in office for a long time. Yes, let's, let's, let's uh, dump a bunch of programs so we can increase military spending. It doesn't matter what, uh, how messed up the things that he dumped were. Um, you can't possibly think it's a good thing to spend that much on the military and if you do I I'd like to see an explanation other than this USA USA kind of mindset that uh, is like uh, supporting a character from professional wrestling I mean is that what we should be like we, we want to be the big cowboy the big uh, badass uh, wrestler who leaves threats and stuff uh, is that is that what we want See, to me, when people uh, push forth masculinity at all costs, at all costs, um, push forth masculinity to be an asshole, you know, when they use masculinity to be an asshole, yeah, that's what I call toxic masculinity. Just like when someone uses femininity to be, to be an asshole, I call that toxic femininity. And... To me, it just seems some of the people out there who are such avid Trump supporters just you 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 basically support toxic masculinity and in, in the by the definition that I gave here, not by the other definitions that might be out there, but by the definition I gave here. Um, and I I don't really understand it. I, I just and if you disagree with me on this, you know, go ahead and uh, talk about it. Don't be a chicken shit and just thumb, give this a thumbs down. Why don't you talk about it? And calling me an idiot or a libtard or something on that regard isn't going to tell me anything. That's not having a discussion about it. So, you know, to those of you who, who gave thumbs down to these two videos here and to those who are pissed at me for making the video you're watching now, yeah, if you really hate it, you know, describe why. And don't just have the, the well, because you, you're, you're an idiot. Yeah, just, it, it, it can't be just insults. Okay. Now, you can say, well, you're giving insults now. I say, yeah, but I haven't, I haven't gotten any information yet. I just know that, that, that people have given a thumbs down and there are some people who will avidly support Trump without any explanation of why. And... I'd like an explanation for that. I, I'd like to figure out how people who give a shit about others could somehow think that Trump's a good thing. So, yeah, go ahead and, and leave some comments if you disagree with a lot of the stuff that I've been saying here. And now, if your whole thing is, well, well, he's being, he's being, it's a, it's a witch hunt against Trump. Um, yeah, I'm going to look at that as really pathetic. 
Because, I mean, I guess we should just ignore the last eight years, right? With the way that me, uh, <laughs> that uh, right-wing media uh, railed against Obama for things that didn't even make any sense and things that never shown to be true. Here we at least have some, you know, uh, departments within the government are saying, yeah, there's probably uh, some collusion going on here. I don't know, I just some of you are just like, well, anything that you say negative about Trump is fake news. Um you see, imagine what what would we have done had had, had Obama had had uh, shoved that sort of thing forth? What would we have done if, if Obama had reacted to this stuff that way? He would have been called probably the thinnest skinned president we've ever had, and yet because Trump has that, you know, masculinity at all costs, toxic masculinity, use masculinity to be an asshole thing, well, it's okay now. We can put on full display that toxic masculinity is fragile. Utterly, utterly fragile, thin-skinned, and yet you want to pretend that you're some sort of badass. It's like the difference between an engine... Uh, you know, like, like a uh, an engine made in the U.S. You know, from a from a United States uh, car company versus ones from Japan. Uh, the ones in the United States, all of the power that that power stroke, right? It's all at the beginning. And with the Japanese vehicles, it's when your RPMs go up a little higher. And so, yeah, the the American car can have all this massive power at the beginning, and then it kind of wimps out when you get towards the end. While the Japanese ones, yeah, it looks a little wimpy at the beginning, but it kicks ass near the end. Um, you know, it, it, it's, just, it's just interesting how some of the mentality that we have here translates and transfers down to everything that we do. It, it's, it's like what I've said before. Who we are shows in everything that we do. So, yeah, leave a comment. 